Well, we've been in the seamer crunch and it has been wide open for this last two months. We've been trying to shoot video, but we hadn't even had time to edit them or put them together. So I might show you some of them a little bit later. But where we're at right now, we just got our banner in. Uh, Adam uh, Stagner did this for me and he did a really nice job with it. He made me some handouts. He put a, this, uh, Jeff made this the GR code to where you can scan that with your phone and it takes you to our webpage with all of our sponsors on our webpage. And you can click on that and it takes you right to their uh, web page. So that looks real nice. I'm tickled with that. But uh, back to our calendar, you know, we yesterday was six days out. Today is five days out. So this is leaving in, in like five, we got to be packing five to six days. Over there behind Jeff is the window that just got broke with uh, five days left. We probably won't get the window for like three days before it's being shipped and wrapped. And I hope it fits and works out well. Then on the truck, uh, Redline Electronics has sent us out these lights that are just the coolest lights. Let me show you how these lights look. They sent us out lights for in the grill. I forgot to turn them on. We got lights on the inside. We got lights under the bottom. We got lights under the running boards. We've got lights everywhere. Uh, we, I'm loving like it. You can even make these lights dance in uh, different colors, any amount of illumination. Uh, however you want them. So that's really working out really nice. So we're going to put those back on just the blue because that, uh, that gets a little crazy. It's looking really fat from the rear. You can see those 20 inch wide tires on it. Uh, Butch came out and polished our wheels for us. Jeff's been working hard on these lights the last few days. We uh, got with fast uh, fuel injection and tuned on our, our injection system. Uh, let me show you a little bit what's going on inside. Let's do it. We got all our lights we made this cathedral type ceiling and put Steve's lava mat in it. Now the lights are just sitting there. We're going to have those where you won't even see them when this thing just kind of glows inside. Lights under the dash. Down here in the floors, you can see we're making a floor mat. So the whole interior of this truck is like a skeleton type interior. There's, there's really no door panels, no back panels, no panels anywhere. Everything is going to be integrated and molded into the vehicle. So this is the back of the cab with the DB skin on it. Then we just uh, semi-gloss the post. And the floor, these are... Uh, Floor mats are going to be actually made into the floor, and I'll put rapture liner on it. It looks just like a floor mat when it gets done. The door panels are actually heat shrunk DB skin on there, and we'll semi gloss and flatten those. Uh, really, no headliner, so the interior is really, really looking good. Now, up front here on our tilt front end, let me show you what it looks like under here. We've got our stack injector 460. We've ran it, it's running really good. It's idling, it, uh, it's not overheating, starts every time. So, got to give a big shout out to Trick Bow and Fast for making something that we turned the key and this thing fired right up. So, really excited about that. Our tri flow radiator's in place. But, uh, yeah, we got five days to go, and there's still a lot to do. It's still up in the air, still don't have our glass. So, uh, we're going to get back to work here and uh, try to get this thing done. We'll get to see and we'll try to do some video. and show you what it's like there, but this is pretty exciting and uh, I just love these lights.